Hello, welcome to Lemon's Tears, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, Lemon himself, Zeke Lemon, and that is Crash, who is sniffing the popcorn can that I got from what well, I'm going to review today, the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie that just came. Buddy! <laughs> uh, and, but before we get to that review, please leave a subscribe for me, and also leave a like and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. I'm sure you loved it. Uh, so yeah, finally going to li really live up to... Uh, the uh, saying here of talk anything and everything entertainment. We are mainly movie a movie channel here. This is in the theaters. We also talk some wrestling here and there, but finally a concert, you know, uh, and I don't really know how to go about this. I, I guess I will start with how I feel about Taylor Swift, and that is I am a fan. I truly do think she is a once in a lifetime talent. She is a, a, a generational talent. Um, I think when it's all said and done, whenever she starts slowing down and she starts doing those once in a few uh, performances, I think we will look at her in a light uh, with some of the greatest of all time. I think, I really do think if you are wanting to get into this industry of entertainment, whether you want to be a director like myself, um, an actor, singer, or whatever it is in the entertainment business, I think she is someone you study. Her attention to detail with, you know, the Easter eggs that she does for the fans and you, the fan base that she has and how they are able to dissect everything and they are usually right is very, very astonishing to me. Like, she, she is an inspiration to me, personally. I, I, I really do think she is one of the greatest. And I really don't think us as a society won't really appreciate that until she is done with her career or at least very much slowing down with it. Uh, but overall, I am a casual fan. I don't know every Taylor Swift song. There were some eras in this uh, portion uh, of the concert where I was just like, I don't know any of these, but I'm, I'm vibing, I'm having a good time. And that's the main thing I could take away from this is that it's just a good time. If you like any Taylor Swift music, I really don't see how you don't enjoy this. Uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, she's playing all the songs that she has from 17, for 17 years that she's been in this business and um it was a hit i mean my i went with my family my sister was right back uh in the in the stadium when she went she was at the one in sofi i believe she went to the one in tennessee and um she was right back there singing along to every single song and that theater was basically the concert and it was great seeing you know so many different kinds of people uh, there as well, uh, from races to ages. I mean, there was like people in their 60s there, all the way to people who were nine years old, and it was just a vibe. It was, and it was really, really awesome to see. Um, I also want to give a big special shout out to her dancers. They were awesome, absolutely amazing, and the way that they were able to dance in the heels is first of all i have respect for anyone who could just walk in heels in general let alone the dances that they do i mean they were twirling they were doing some skips and all that and it was like flawless and i'm just like how <laughs> so major shout out to the dancers and you know to the whole entire crew uh backup singers the band and all that very 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 good but the dancers just really really blew me away um also the direct the direction as well, and you can really tell, you know, with them having the six nights that they were really, really able to play uh, with the camera and where to place it. I would imagine they did the Hamilton route where they had one day where like, all right, we're just gonna do handheld and the guy's gonna follow you around. We're gonna get those shots. Um, and then, you know, we'll have some exterior shots where we can, uh, or crane shots and place everywhere else where we can move around. So we can really see the whole entire stage and make it as much that, the people in the theater feel like they're really there um and with them being at sofi for six days i had to catch my thought with them being at sofi for six days and if they did do one day handheld one day aerial one day sides and all that then on the other three days they were probably like okay well Taylor, when you go over here, do this, be positioned here. So that because this, this, we got, when we review the footage, we think it will look really good there because there was a lot of shots in this movie or concert um, that 
it really was just like, man, that's a screensaver. That's a poster. This is amazing. Like, just absolutely stunning visuals throughout the whole entire uh, concert slash movie that I was just blown away. There was a lot of times where I was just, I, I was in awe of her. Like, she has such an aura about her. And it was just amazing to see how she had 90,000 people in that stadium in the palm of her hand. And no, it, it and that three hours flew by for the part I was there. I only checked my phone twice, and both times it was when an hour was up. Uh, like I said, there were some portions where, you know, I just didn't know the music because, you know, I'm a very casual Taylor Swift fan. I don't think there's a song I don't like. It's just, you know, she's not my main favorite artist, but, you know, she is an artist I do enjoy, and I do like most of her songs. I know a lot more than I thought I would, for, for sure. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I really don't know how much more to go into it. I mean, it was a concert. It was very cool to see. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, I cannot see how you don't like it. <laughs> if you always did not like Taylor Swift, don't know why you would go, and I don't know why you would click on this video. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to go, go. And I think it's a great, I think it's a great opportunity, especially in today's day and age where um, there is just the t tickets are just so expensive and. For this to be an outlet for people who were not able to afford that and it's just a much more actionable uh way for people who you know probably went for broke and went over there and they just want to relive it again because like i said my sister was right back in the stadium there was like a row of people that i don't know if they went or not but they were just transformed into into the concert and it was very, very beautiful to see that, you know, this is an option if you did not, if you were not able to go. And I hope it's something that we can continue to see because I really do think it's beautiful. But yeah, that, that's really all I got for y'all. <laughs> I really don't, I really don't know how much more to go into it. So anyway, comment below, let me know your thoughts on the Eros Tour movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think this is good for business? Do you think this is bad for business? Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Um... Again, leave a subscribe. I'm only 20 away from my goal of 100. Like, let's help me get there. Please hit that subscribe button. Gets me closer to 100. And again, it helps me grow into my YouTube career. I'm Zeke. That's Crash. And I will see you here next time at Lemon Studios.